Christian VII ruled as King of Denmark and Norway from 1766 until his death. He was the son of King Frederick V and his first wife, Louise of Great Britain. Christian VII's reign was marked by mental illness and most decisions regarding the running of the nation were not made by the king. His royal advisers differed depending on who won power struggles around the throne. From the 14th of April 1784 until Christian's death in 1808, it was Christian's son, Frederick VI, who unofficially acted as regent. Accounts of Christian's early life agree that he had a winning personality and considerable talent. He seems to have been intelligent and certainly had periods of clarity, but suffered from severe emotional problems. King Christian suffered from extreme mood swings and behaved erratically and irrationally. He would hallucinate often and sometimes spoke unintelligibly. It is now thought that he had bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. His father also went insane towards the end of his life. Christian VII's mentor, Detlev Reventov, was a stern man who believed in using a firm hand. He terrorised the young prince with severe beatings. After a beating, Christian could be found on the floor foaming at the mouth. This abuse slightly magnified Christian's problems. The king was physically frail, short and slender, and as a result he developed an abnormal concern with physical toughness. The young king was betrothed to his 15-year-old cousin, Princess Caroline Matilda, a sister of Great Britain's King George III. After his marriage, Christian abandoned himself to the worst excesses, especially sexual promiscuity. He would regularly have sex with male and female prostitutes. Masturbation became a big issue for the king, and he would engage in the activity so much that the court physicians actually worried that Christian's chronic habit was affecting his health. They thought that it would render him infertile, and that it was stunting his growth. Christian often engaged in strange behaviour. He would throw food at his dinner guests. When he was introduced to people and they bowed to him, he would often leapfrog over them, and at other times he would slap people in the face in the middle of a conversation, for no reason. He ultimately sank into a condition of mental stupor. Symptoms during this time included paranoia, self-mutilation and hallucinations. Christian had a stroke and died on the 13th of March 1808 at the age of 59.